When Ned Finlan attended Grand Rapids Community College, almost everything was different. Our location, our enrollment, even our name. It was uh, located in a high school. Grand Rapids. I graduated from the Sioux High School in 1922. And I went to Grand Rapids after that. My Aunt Mamie was a society editor for the Detroit Free Press. And then she went to Grand Rapids and was editor of a paper for the sisters. One thing that was the same was excellent, challenging education. An education that served as the foundation for Ned's amazing life. It seemed diff difficult enough to be good, I guess. You know, I mean, the teaching wasn't easy. I liked history, philosophy, politics. Ned would soon find his passion, politics. He would eventually become a state representative for the Emmett Mackinac District, serving from 1933 to 1939. This would be followed by a successful legal career culminating in over 20 years as the 33rd Circuit Court Judge. I can remember it was during the Depression. Hard times, you know. And I was elected to the legislature and got $3 a day pay. Was that something? Well, I'm Irish. They like politics. It's all, it's all in your blood. When choosing what among his many accomplishments Ned is proudest of, he does not hesitate to choose introducing the legislation for building the Mackinac Bridge. Getting the Mackinac Bridge built through, and also the state police under civil service. Well, I think back of when I introduced the legislation and how difficult it was in certain ways. People would ridicule it, you know, it could never be built. And, you know, pessimists, they, kind of, they just kind of spur you on, I know, I think. When I think of, of accomplishments, uh, it's, not, it's not so much the, the legislation, it's the interaction with other people that impresses me about my dad. His friendships that he's kept through the years, those are the important things, those are the things that really impress me. He's interested in everything, in everybody, and whenever he meets anybody, he gives them the quiz down, where are you from, who are your family, especially if we go up north, he wants to know. And it always ends up, he had dated one of their great grandmothers. <laughs> and he, because he didn't get married till he's 35, he was a great Gadsby of the Straits. In fact, you could say that Ned Finlan has been building bridges his entire life. Through his work supporting community colleges, he has built bridges for individuals to achieve higher education. His role in founding North Central Community College resulted in its newest lecture hall being named in his honor. So many youngsters can't go away to school. And if it's in the community, they can attend. Well, I think it's very important. It sets a good standard, a good, good, uh, good example. And it encourages young people to that wouldn't otherwise go to school, probably. Over a century of experience gives Ned perspective, wisdom he is willing to share with others. You're, you're, you're measured by the friends you keep, you know, so it's quite important that you run with the right crowd, I guess. And very often over the years, when Ben and I talk on the phone, and the last thing he'd say would be, keep the faith. And I, I thought, you know, I've never asked him what he meant by that. <laughs> you'd think maybe that, ha that has a lot of religious overtones, but I've interpreted keep the faith as hang in there, keep on going, don't give up, and persevere. And I think for every student who sits out there and takes courses, this would be Dad's advice. Dad's advice for each and every one of us today, and for those students and professors, keep the faith. Ned Finland has led an amazing life. Grand Rapids Community College is proud to have been present at the start, and is proud that in a new century, both the student and the college are still building bridges to help others succeed. <laughs>